Having owned the bike for approximately 10 months now and clocking a little over 260 miles, I can confidently say it's been a delightful ride. Residing in a region abundant with hills, a traditional bike was out of the question for me. The Injibu e-bike, while large and robust, has been a game changer. However, I must caution against considering it if you anticipate frequently carrying it up and downstairs due to its weight. Standing tall at 6 feet 4 inches and weighing 270 pounds, I was pleasantly surprised by its ample power, especially when tackling steep inclines with vigorous pedaling. I primarily engaged the motor on such gradients, allowing the battery to last a commendable 75 to 100 miles on a single charge. Even at the highest seat setting, the bike offers remarkable comfort, thanks to its cushy seat that keeps discomfort at bay, even during extended rides. Upon receiving the bike, I did encounter the need to adjust the brakes and shifter cables. While manageable for me, those less inclined toward bike maintenance may prefer seeking assistance from a professional bike shop. For off-road or sandy terrain enthusiasts, I highly recommend replacing the factory chain grease with a dry alternative to prevent sand accumulation, which I learned the hard way after my initial sandy excursion. Around the 250-mile mark, I encountered a setback when the controller malfunctioned on an incline, displaying the E-09 error. However, the seller's prompt response and provision of a replacement eased my concerns. Swapping the controller proved straightforward, requiring only a Phillips head screwdriver and some zip ties. I did notice a lack of secure fastening for the controller within the bike's housing, which may warrant additional precautions to prevent similar issues such as padding or strapping it down. Despite this minor hiccup, my overall experience with both the bike and the seller has been overwhelmingly positive.